Our seventh and glorious Imam, Imam Kadim alayhi salatu wasalam, spent a lot of time in prison, and not just one prison, in various prisons across Iraq. There are moments where he spent some time in Ibn Rabi's prison. There are moments that he spent some time in Ibn Yahya's prison, Ibn Shahak's prison. But there comes a moment in Ibn Ja'far's prison that is a monumental moment where now even the coldest of the hearts of the enemies, now the Imam is able to penetrate. Arriving in Basra on the 7th of Dhul Hijjah, our 7th Imam is delivered by horsemen to Isa ibn Ja'far. He spends time in the prison of Ibn Ja'far for many years. After a while, Harun Rashid writes a letter to Isa ibn Ja'far and commands him to kill the Imam. Ibn Ja'far reads this letter and summons his close friends and associates and reliable ones. And he reads a letter to them, asking them for their advice. And the collective advice that was given to Ibn Ja'far was do not kill this man. Ask Harun to exempt you from this duty. And so Isa ibn Ja'far writes a letter to Harun saying, it has been such a long time since Imam has been in my prison during which I have tested him and tormented him and tortured him. My spies were watching his every movement, but I could not find anything about him except this fact that he was always praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Even I arranged to have his prayers heard by the guards. Never once did I hear him foul mouth you, insult me, but rather glorify his Lord, asking him for his forgiveness. If you wish to kill the Imam, send someone to take him out of this prison now. I cannot suffer. I cannot suffer. Imagine now the enemy is saying, he cannot suffer at the sight of this man in prison, in prison alone. This is the glorious lesson of our seventh Imam, that while the world gave him hardship after hardship after hardship, he gave the world back worship after worship after worship. His incredible ability to turn the hardship of this dunya to the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a lesson for you and I. This world is a test this world will present to you and to me the struggles, the difficulties, the afflictions that it does. How we treat those struggles, how our reaction is, is completely up to us. Let us tread the path of the sunnah of our seventh imam, where we take on those struggles, we embrace those hardships, and we somehow convert those hardships to the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.